everybody what's up welcome back to my channel so um yeah i decided to do something a little bit different um this is my book collection so i actually did a video a couple of months ago a little bit ago a while ago i actually did my perfume collection and people loved it and i was like what the heck that's not even makeup and so i was like you know what why not just, you know, kind of incorporate some other things? So I was like, here, let's show them my book collection. So I don't have too, too many. I mean, people now don't really collect books anymore. So um, I guess it is a lot for people who have everything online and stuff like that. But um, honestly, this is probably like a pretty small collection. So let's just get started because you guys know I love to talk a lot. Let me know what you guys think about the new intro. I love it. Um, let me know. Let's just get started. <laughs> Okay, so for, before I get into the lineup here, I have some books at the top up here. Um, I have three. There we go. Uh, this first book right here is called Prayers That Avail Much for Young Adults. My grandmother got this for me for my graduation like two years ago, 2017. And I have not read it yet. I need to read it. Um, I need to read more of uh, my spiritual books. If you guys see, I have a lot of like Percy Jackson books. And I'll get into those in a second, but I read those instead of these, and I really need to read these. So, I have this one. And then I have The Power of a Praying Team, which again, a teen, which again, I have not read. This is from my mother. Again, I have not read it. <laughs> um, I need to read it. So many good things in here that I need to read. And then this book is called Free Indeed. I got this um, like two years ago as well, and again, I have not read it. Um, I like I don't know why I just pick them up and I'm like oh this looks like a great book it's gonna be so good and then I don't read it but um yeah <laughs> there's that book as well so I have three books here that I need to just read I've had these all for like these three for like over two years already like Marissa get yourself together okay so the first books over here ha the big dogs are the hold on let me grab it Okay, so the first book over here, this is The Lost Hero um, by Rick Riordan. This is the Percy Jackson series. Um, this is the second series to the Percy Jackson series. So this is actually the first one right here, which again, I'll get into in a second. But these are the second ones. They're a lot, lot bigger. And these are literally my favorite. As you can see, it's used and abused. Um, it's so good. If you guys do not, have never read this series, you need to... Um, yeah, they're just so great. This is The Lost Hero. And then I have The Son of Neptune, which is the second book in the series. Same series, Percy Jackson. And then I have The Mark of Athena. So actually, um, real quick, the first one is one story. It's one side of the story. So it's about a character named Jason, uh, Piper, and Leo. And... Their side of the story kind of goes through is happening in this book. And then the same time period, um, Percy Jackson, Annabeth, and all their stuff is going through, uh, going on in this side of the story. So it's two different sides, and they're each happening in both books at the same time. So it's really cool. Um, and then the third one here is when they finally come together, and they go to, like, um, you know, they just go on, like, an adventure, basically, like a journey, uh, to go fight this lady. Um, but they do that together. So this is when they come together in this book. And then the fourth book here, um, looks like this. This is where they, um, again, they're all together in this one. They're just on a bunch of journeys. Basically, they go to find their friend, um, again, it's another huge book. Rick Riordan is an amazing writer, guys. And if you're looking for a great book just to get involved with, it's these. Um, a little disclaimer. These are about the, um, Greek and Roman gods. So if you're really not into that stuff, you're not gonna like these at all. Or if you have a hard time, like, um, 
if you're a Christian and you're like, why would you read books about other gods? It's not that I believe that stuff. It's that I genuinely enjoy reading them. Um, so this is the Blood of Olympus. This is the final book when they battle the final person. So good. Um, again, they're huge books. They're really, they're pretty big. This one has... 516 pages which is really not that much honestly but if you're someone who's not a big reader this is a big book <laughs> i love them so much okay so i'm gonna skip this book real quick because this is a different series and then i'm gonna go to these these are the first percy jackson book series like i have all five of them um i need to get a new stack because i love them so much but i have beaten them up i used to have um, this is actually my second copy of some of these books. I didn't have all of them, but some of them, this is my second copy because the first ones were even more destroyed. And look at that, just destroyed. Um, this is the biggest book out of the five books, but um, this is the first one. So good. It's That's the stage for Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson, he has, what is that, nine, now nine books written about him in them. So this is the one that you need to just start with and then go into the rest of them, um, the rest of the series. This one's the, called The Lightning Thief. So good, guys. They came out with a movie at this. The movie is nothing compared to this book. This book is amazing. And then same with The Sea of Monsters, which is the second book. Um, this one's a little bit in better condition. I gotta read them again, though. Um, this one is... They also did a movie at this. And again, it's nothing compared to the book. The book is just so much better. Um, so if you have an idea in your head of what these are gonna be like from the movies really take that out real fast because these are just so much better so much better and then this is the third book in the thing in the series is called the titan's curse so this is the one if you guys saw the movie where the girl talia uh shows up at the end of the sea of monsters this book is pretty much about her and stuff like that so they were supposed to come out with the third movie but they didn't which was annoying but also I'm glad because they probably would have ruined this movie too, so. And then here's the fourth book, The Battle of the Labyrinth. This book is amazing. This is probably my favorite out of all of these books. Um, it's just so good. It's uh, As you can see, it's a maze. So he's in a maze trying to get out of the maze, basically. Um, and it is just so good. And then the fifth book is, again, one of my favorites. Um, it's The Last Olympian. <sighs> so good it's like the final battle again um the final book has like his final battles in each series so um yeah this one kind of sets the tone a little bit it kind of leaves you like oh no like this is the end i'm never gonna um read about percy again but then they came out with this second series so now you're like yes i get to read about more percy and it is just great um again i say rick riordan is a really good writer I don't know if he's my favorite because I really don't have a favorite writer, but he is just so good. He's really good at like making the story come alive to you, to you through the pages, and it's just so good. Okay, so then real quick, I'm also gonna talk about these. This is like my the nerdy side of me. This is called the Demigod Diaries. So this is kind of like the behind the scenes of the Percy Jackson stuff. So um, it's really not a book book. It's like like pictures and stuff about camp and stuff like that the camp that they're at so it's a really nerdy thing to have this but um you know now i have it <laughs> and then same with this this is like the ultimate guide so this explains to you like uh which gods are what and what their powers are and all that like kind of nerdy stuff <laughs> again super super nerdy of me but you know um i have it and then they have these little cards which are so funny <laughs> Uh, if you guys saw the movie, this is Grover from the book. He is a white redhead. And in the movie, he's not that. And then Annabeth is a blonde with blue, uh, stormy blue and gray eyes. Really stormy gray, but blue, I'll take blue. Um, as long as they're not brown, which they were in the first movie. So, and she had brown hair, which didn't make any sense. Um, and then this is Percy Jackson. Uh, I like the Percy Jackson in the movie better. <laughs> he looks like a nerd, but anyway. So that's this. It's called The Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Ultimate Guide. Again, really nerdy. And then I skipped over this book. Oh! I skipped over this book. Um, 
because this is a third series that Rick Riordan actually wrote. It's Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. So the other ones were about Roman and Greek gods. This one is about um, the Gods of Asgard. So it's a little different. But if you guys notice Magnus Chase in the first series, the girl's name is Annabeth Chase. And they're actually cousins. So it kind of ties into them a little bit. Um, it's really cool. Um, I haven't read this one yet. I started it, I think... I've started it a couple of times, but I haven't gotten around to reading it. Um, but yeah, I like that series and I want to get the rest of the books. Um, in that series, there's four, I believe. And then this is just a devotional, a journal, and then some of my favorite movies. Um, Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious are some of my favorites. Ugh, I love them. And then Divergent. I haven't even opened this, but I just I got it for a really cheap price. And I had a laptop that used to play videos, but I don't have it anymore. So now it just kind of chills. And then I have the Green Lantern, which again, I love. And then um, Star Trek, which, ha, huh, another one of my favorites. I'm about to watch it now because I just remembered that we have a DVD player upstairs. So... Um, so yeah, guys, I actually have two more books at my school. It's another Rick Riordan series. Um, I just, I love them. I can't get enough. So I will explain, I'll film that at school and then I'll, um, you know, hit you with the new outro. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for my book collection at home. Again, like I said, I have two at school, so I will be showing you those, um, in the next clip. But, um yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video if not i understand it's a little bit different if you're not a book nerd you probably hated this but i'm a book nerd um in my heart and i've read the thing is i've read so many other books on top of these i just never bought them i had a kindle which i used to read them on and then i used to borrow my books from one of my teachers so i had to give those all back so i was a big big book nerd and as you can tell i'm collecting book series like that's a book nerdy thing that's a nerdy thing to do so um, yeah whatever <laughs> okay so we're back at school and i just wanted to mention real quick the two books that i was supposed to mention basically um again like i said these are rick riordan books as well these are called the trials of apollo they're pretty thick books they're not as big as the one series that i was showing you that has like the really huge books they're not as big but they're bigger than the original percy jackson series so these are kind of in the middle if you're looking for something more in the middle. These are the bites. Um, I just started reading this book, so I'm um, like right there. I wanted to push myself to read a chapter every night, but I just get so lazy and I'm like, I don't feel like reading. I just want to watch YouTube. Um, so I need to like continue to read every night so I can read all those books that I want. I have not read as much as I used to and I need to get back on it. So I want to complete this series, um, which there's three books in it. I have this one and then this is the second book in it, which is um, The Dark Prophecy. Yes, The Dark Prophecy. So this is the second one. It's a little bit bigger um, than the first one. Well, I guess they're about the same. It just feels a little bit heavier. Um, but yeah, I want to finish that series. There are three books in the series, like I said. So um shouldn't be too hard if I just push myself. And then I can go ahead and read those books that I was telling you I haven't read at home, which look really good too. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's a little weird, a little random, but I thought it was really exciting, something new. Literally, YouTube is so dry not even funny people just post the same things over and over and over again and um the thing is too is that uh, brands are not coming out with new releases anymore really um and they if they are people like aren't jumping really f too fast to want to see them because it's kind of like same old same old like whatever so uh and then i don't have money to be buying like the every urban decay palette that comes out so um yeah, let me know what you want to see for sure because um, I'm scrapping at, uh, what is that saying? Like, um, scrapping here? I don't, I don't know, like you're scraping the the bottom of the barrel. Like, you, there's nothing left in there. It's kind of dry. Um, uh, so please tell me what you want to see, guys. Um, I was thinking of doing a full face of $1 makeup or Dollar Tree makeup or well, the dollar store makeup. Or um, I was thinking of showing you guys my... Uh, cheapest products or like uh 
all my products under three dollars or just certain things um yeah that I really had nothing so that was it again let me know what you want to see please comment below because it's so annoying when you guys don't comment <laughs> please please just help a sister out if you're like marissa like i don't even want to see you do your makeup i want you to um actually do your hair one day i got you i got you just let me know seriously if you want again an eyeshadow palette i can do that um if you're like hey there's this really cheap thing at target why don't you check it out i think i want a review on it let me know that's it for this video i said that a hundred times bye guys